Brothers, I'll praise glory and honor be to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, double honor to the other apostles of Great Millstone, salutations to the Akim, and the, the, uh, all the sincere brothers preaching the Most High's word. Today I have a life lesson going into the first ministers were licensed to control. And the reason I'm going into the, the topic of the first ministers were licensed to control because the current day pastors and preachers, right, and it also trickles down into the, the, the leaders of, of, of Israel in today's time, especially those they that they have taken the 501c3 charter. So I have right here uh, the book called Dirty Little Secrets About Black History as Heroes and Other Troublemakers by Claude Anderson, right? And then on page page six, it says, first ministers were licensed to control. So I'll read a, a, a few of the paragraphs here, the excerpts here. It says the American, uh, well, I'll actually start down at the second paragraph. It says, once white slave owners realized their religion could serve as an excellent, excellent mechanism to control slaves, they allowed field blacks to attend services as long as they were accompanied by a white overseer. Because owners did not want black uh, field hands in their own churches, they built modest chapels for them on their plantations. By the latter part of the 18th century, whites in many slave states decided to allow blacks to build their own churches and conduct their own religious services. All right. This change of heart may have been motivated in part by a sincere desire to encourage, uh, encourage the Christianizing of blacks, which is false. Uh, but the relentless push for increased control was never far from the surface. That's the truth. In response to independent services conducted by and for blacks, a national policy evolved requiring whites to select and license all black preachers. Dominant white society controlled black religion, its ministers, and its churches. Catechisms for religious instruction of slaves commonly bore such passages as, who gave you a master and a mistress? God gave them to me. Who says that you must obey them? God says that I must obey, right? A black congregation had the potential of being a source of unrest to slave owners allowed only the most pliable, compromising, and controllable blacks to become licensed as the ministerial head of black congregations. The licensed black ministers were expected to encourage their fellow blacks to be meek, obedient, and accepting of whites as masters. Right? So when you go into the history of the first ministers, the first pastors, because who gave us the doctrine? The doctrine that's being taught up in the churches came from the slave master, man, right? And you have these so-called heads of, of, of Israelite camps, right? The IUIC, the ISUPK, HODC, GOCC. You have different sects of these groups who take in the 501c3 charter status, right? Which is basic, basically a license with the, the with the government, which is a license with the devil. Now, uh, under that 501c3 charter, you have restrictions. You have uh, you have guidelines to go by, man. And I have a couple of scriptures. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 23, verse one: "Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture," saith the Lord, because that 501c3 uh, charter. It, it prevents you from uh, teaching the truth uh, uh, without without holding back information, man. You have to be careful on, on, on the things you say. They give you a, a particular curriculum go by, right? So so your doctrine is bas it basically being controlled. And that's what the whole excerpt was about. It said the first ministers were licensed to control. And Esau chose the most pliable and compromising uh, 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 blacks to be the heads of these churches, man. This is the book of Baruch, chapter 4, verse 26. My delicate ones have gone rough ways and were taken away as a flock caught of, of the enemies. And the delicate ones are who? The Israelites, man. And they have gone rough ways. How have they gone rough ways? Because of the teachers, man. All right? So, you know, that'll conclude the, the, the topic for today. You had anything you want to add up? All right? You know, so with that, most I will, the, the, the point was proven that, that this is just a quick life lesson, man. Hey, because because you got to come out the spirit of these churches, man. And even these guys who've taken that that five hundred one c three, and are using it as 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 though it's 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 to help further the gospel, to help further the, 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 to push this word. So when did Yahweh shot? When did the disciples go to the Romans and and and, and, and inquire of them for assistance on pr pr uh, pushing the Mosai's word?
So with that, Shalom.